Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the Honor Router 3 Wi-Fi 6 router and this router supports up to 3000 Mbps and has a 160 MHz bandwidth. It has a 12 core processor and it supports up to 128 devices at the same time. It supports the OFDMA and the Moomimo technologies for the simultaneous transfer of packets at the same time. I got this Honor Router 3 from Banggood.com and it is from China but it has been released in European region and you can buy the European version as well and in today's video I will do an unboxing of this router and I will show you how to set it up and show the features of the router through the mobile app and I will compare the speed and the range of this router with the Huawei AX3 Pro that I have here. This router also supports up to 3000 Mbps speed and it is a Wi-Fi 6 router and I have already reviewed this router before. These two routers are very similar. Actually the Huawei AX3 Pro has a AX3 version, the non-pro version that is a dual core version but the one I have here is a quad core version but the Huawei AX3 and the Pro versions are released only in China right now but the Honor Router 3 has been released in Europe and you can buy the international version as well. So so now let's unbox it and see what is there inside. As you can see the packaging is very similar to the Huawei AX3 router. Even the form factor is very similar to this router and the weight is also similar. The router has four antennas, it's written here as Honor. So this is the comparison of the form factor and this is the power adapter. It comes with a 12 volt 1 amp adapter that is 12 watts. However, the AX3 Pro that I have here is a 24 watt that means it comes with a 2 amps 12 volt adapter and it comes with a user manual. Since my router is from China, everything is in Chinese, but you can get the international version. And that's it, let's keep all the things aside. So this is the router, and the default Wi-Fi name is Honor 510LQ1AA, and it has four gigabit LAN, and the power input is here, and the reset button is here. The power input is a standard five millimeter DC jack, and similar to the Huawei AX3, it has a adaptive WAN and LAN detection, and both have the WPS button here. So if you press this WPS button, you'll be able to connect to your WPS supported devices. So another difference is that the Huawei AX3 Pro here comes with the NFC support. That means if you tap here, then you will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi router automatically. In the case of the Honor Router 3, it doesn't have the NFC support. So let's power it on now. So it has an indicator here. This is a multi-color LED indicator. It's red and sometimes green or orange. And let's connect the LAN cable. Now it is powered on and the LAN cable has been connected. Let's try to set this up using the Huawei AI Life app. So this is the Huawei AI Life app. As you can see, my Huawei AX3 Pro router has already been configured and now it's showing up a new device. The Honor Wi-Fi 3 router was found and it is asking for configuration. So let's click on configure. So let's connect to the Honor router. And in order to avoid confusion, you turn off the mobile data it has detected the Honor router. Select some of the user agreements and you can name the Wi-Fi SSID and you can also have a different name for the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Enter a password and let's go next and uh, you can select the signal strength. I'll keep it as enhanced Wi-Fi and uh, you can also select the network mode so you can select both IPv4 and IPv6 and next. It's asking for a router backup so it's not required right now. 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi names are different as you can see. Let's get started. Let's start with the speed test. So that speed test is between your device and your Wi-Fi router. So now the Honor router has been connected and here you can see all the settings and it's also asking for an update. I'll update it later. Let's see what are the features available. So you can go to Wi-Fi management for setting the Wi-Fi name and password and signal strength and the Wi-Fi quality. You can also optimize the Wi-Fi channels for better speed and you also have the Wi-Fi extender. They claim to support the Wi-Fi mesh functionality. So I'll check whether I can connect the Honor router 3 to the AX3 Pro using the mesh network. You can also go to the Highlink app. This is a plugin and it will show you what are the devices that are connected. And network settings, you can select the internet connection type. So you can select DHCP or a static IP and you can also enter the broadband triple PoE passwords. So you also have game acceleration in this router as you can see here. You also have the parental controls for child protection and limiting the internet services for your children. Now I'm connected to the Honor router as you can see here and I will do the speed test. So the download speed is 293 Mbps. 
and the upload speed is 158 mbps and the ping is only 8 milliseconds okay and then now i'll connect to the huawei router that i have here so it's connected now let's do the speed test again the download speed is 360 mbps and the upload speed is 147 mbps now i have updated the router to the latest firmware let's check for the network speed so let's do a speed test in this network speed test that is built in in the huawei ai live app it will check the speed of the device to the router as well as the internet so it has two speed tests so let's start now it's testing the speed from the router to the device that is my phone so the download speed is 996 mbps that is the local download speed and the router is right here so it is very fast and this is the network speed test of the internet so the internet speed test is 520 mbps download speed and the upload speed is 96 mbps so this is the summary now let's connect to the huawei ax3 pro router here okay now it's connected we can go to the huawei ax3 pro router and check for the network speed again In the upload speed test and now it's doing the internet speed test so the local network speed test is 1 gbps and the internet speed is 231 mbps download and then 100 mbps upload the main factor is the local network speed because the internet speed depends on the isp and how many users are connected right now so it is not reliable so as you can see the local network speed is a little bit more with the ax3 pro router compared to the huawei honor 3 router but it is very comparable and uh, it is not much different now i'll do a range test of both the routers in different locations of my house and show you the speed test and the range comparison there was the speed and range comparison between the honor router 3 and the huawei ax3 pro as you can see both routers have the similar performance and the speed is almost the same the range of the ax3 pro is a little bit more than the honor router 3 but it is barely noticeable the test was performed by connecting a single device to these routers the quad core processor of the ax3 pro may perform better when more devices are connected compared to the honor router 3's dual core processor so we should note that now i'll test whether the honor router 3 can be connected to the huawei ax3 pro using the wi-fi mesh function now i'll reset the honor router 3 and try to connect the honor router 3 to the huawei ax3 pro using the wi-fi relay function in the app so in order to reset the honor router 3 i will use the reset button and poke it for few seconds indicator turns red and then it will reset after the reset is complete you can see the wi-fi here so try to connect to this wi-fi and then turn off your mobile data and you can go to the huawei ai live app it has found the new router the honor router so try to configure it and this step is similar to the previous steps just unplug this cable because it was not able to configure in the wi-fi relay function if the lan cable was plugged in now we have connected to the honor router 3 since the network cable has been unplugged it will say that there is no internet connection so now you can go to more settings and uh, go to wi-fi management and go to wi-fi relay and in the wi-fi relay you can see that the available networks for extension then you can select the huawei ax3 pro wi-fi and type in the password and connect so after the relay is successful the indicator should turn green currently it is red now if you check the wi-fi networks the honor router 3 wi-fi should not be visible so it takes some time to make this setting so after it turns green then you can connect to the huawei router and go to ai live app and if you go to the management app you can now see that there is a connection in between two routers so the huawei router has been connected to the honor router 3 let's try to connect the honor router 3 to the huawei ax3 pro by using the lan cable now it has been connected using a lan cable now let's check the app again so now it says that both the routers are connected using a lan cable as you can see access mode is cable access so after you set in, in the wi-fi relay mode the honor router 3 wi-fi it will be the same as the ax3 pro wi-fi and both are in the mesh function so here you can see that the mode is the cable access and you can also see the device information ip address and access type if the cable has been disconnected it will be showing as a 5 gigahertz or a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi and you can reboot this router or factory reset this router using the interface of the huawei 
AX3 Pro. So the mesh connection was successful. Both the cable connection as well as Wi-Fi uh, mesh connection is working between these two routers. The Wi-Fi relay mode, if it supports a mesh networking between the routers, it will go and configure with the mesh networking mode. But if you connect some other brand Wi-Fi like the Xiaomi Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi relay mode to the routers, then it will be just a Wi-Fi extender mode because they will not support the mesh networking. So if you want to return back to the normal working mode of the Honor Router 3 or the Child Router, then you need to reset it. You can reset using the hardware reset button or you can reset it from the interface of the AX3 Pro. And so that was the review of the Honor Router 3. It is very nicely designed and you can see that the form factor is very similar to the AX3 or the AX3 Pro. And if you have 160 MHz supporting devices, then you can always go for the Honor Router 3 or the AX3 or the AX3 Pro routers. But the Honor Auto 3 has the international version, so it is more attractive for the international users. So that's it. These are the things that I wanted to share with you. Please like and share if you find the video useful. And please consider supporting my Patreon campaign. And thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.